Why, why are you hanging your head in shame? What have you done? Oh, golly. I'm such a dork. I went downstairs <laughs> to uh, answer a DSE call and I hadn't got my glasses on. <laughs> I saw this um, word that looked like uh, dismiss. So I moved the button and pressed it down. I didn't turn off the DSE call. And then I realised it didn't say dismiss at all, it said distress! So, so what do we have to do next? Well, we contacted um, Hollyhead Coast Guard on the grounds that um, we wanted to make sure that um, I hadn't uh, alerted them to my danger. But to alert them to your danger, you need to actually press the button for five seconds. Whereas what I did was just sort of like randomly press it because I thought it meant this bit. The moral of the story is? Read your manual and learn your, do your, understand your radio. No, so, that's not the moral of the story. Oh, okay. The moral of the story is wear your glasses. <laughs> it is for me, yeah. Oh, dear, what a dog. Yep. At least I now know where the dis distress button is. Five seconds. Don't forget that in a hurry. Well, um, we've got Fairley on our circuit board and uh, not having an oscilloscope handy. Um, all we're trying to do is check for uh, salt crystals or things like that because we've fixed um, a PCB board before now and all that happened was that there was a salt crystal across the circuit. So we're just checking for that. Um, I'm cleaning the contacts. And Beverly's cleaning the contacts yeah. because... The one thing that I have found with anything electrical is that poor earth <laughs> causes so many problems, um, it's untrue. And uh, I did many years as an electrical engineer and I never got past faulty earth. I don't know if I'm going to get past it today, but we're checking for it anyway. You should be looking happy, you've got tea. I know. Oh, we're at um, Port of Ardy and um, I had wanted to go to the Infinity Pool, but me, Rain, and Infinity Pool just aren't going together. Because it is chucking it down, isn't it? It's throwing it down. I wanted, I have in my mind what I call an Instagram shot with me looking out at this lovely view, etc. No, in reality it's going to be me raining. <laughs> You're going to be wet anyway. I know, but it's just not. Oh, days, it's not the Instagram picture I fancied. <laughs> but anyway, regardless of that. Now we're at Port of Addy, we've um, fuelled up because we're using an awful lot more fuel than um, uh, we wanted to but sailor V, that's life. Um, but I'm coming to the conclusion because we our um, depth gauge um, is broken we've put feelers out um, to see if we can get a new one or whatever it is we're going to do, we don't know still yet but we're going to have to take mooring balls. Um, I don't think we've got any choice. Um, we had wanted to anchor, but without that depth gauge, um, you know, it's going to be dodgy. And we could use a lead line. Yeah, we can use a lead line. So what we're thinking of doing is doing a mooring ball tonight. And we're going to just practice while we're in moored the lead line technique just so that we both know what we're doing and then we might try the lead line technique but <sighs> but no the ideas of where we were going to do and what we're going to do and things like that it's just it's just not going to pan out and it's just 
just annoying. But that's life, I'm afraid, and that's boat life. Happy yet? I'm much happier. I've got the sails up. Okay, fair enough. We're only travelling at 3.2 knots speed over ground, but I don't care. We're sailing. are maintained by the Kems Hotel. They are actually free uh, for you to use um, but obviously um, one of the things they'd like you to do is uh, come to the hotel and partake of the meal which is exactly what Beverly and I did. Diet has gone out the window I think on that one. We needed to make a brief journey to Tignabruach for supplies before doing a few boat jobs. to wipe Salty Lass's bottom for her. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, she's a bit mucky, so I'm getting a, a, a coarse brush out. I'm going to get a scraper out and I'm going to lash this up to a boat hook and we're just going to get underneath and get her a damn good scrubbing. So that's why I'm in all my dinghy gear because it's a wet job doing this. It's not the first time. The next day, we decided to move on and see about anchoring at Caliph Harbour, a small natural harbour behind an island. and had a look at um, anchoring in the little natural harbour and um, without a working depth gauge uh, we decided it's just not going to work for us. Uh, so we came to the moorings at the Contrave Hotel and uh, unlike the one at the Kems where they suggest you come in and uh, partake of a meal or, or at least go in here, go into the pub, here it's basically it's 20 quid without going in or 10 pounds if you actually have a meal here so either way you're stumping up either 10 plus a, a meal or 20 and no meal but 20 for a mirror ball is a bit stiff i just think so at least at the kems hotel it was free and it was more like a suggestion that you come in yeah, but so, if, which if, was if we hadn't had a meal last night, we'd probably go out to one tonight. Yeah, because we had a meal at the Kems last night, uh, but um, tonight's dinner's already, already in. Mr. Tonight's already, dinner, tonight's dinner's already in, Mister D. Yeah, and um, also, um, as you know, I'm trying to lose weight, and last night is one is one thing, but to have another meal out uh, two nights on the row, no, that's just not going to happen. <laughs> so then, down to Rothsay. Eh? Yeah, because even though it's more expensive at Rossay, um, you know, we can go and do some shopping, get some various bits and bobs. Um, and um, we've decided that we're going to try and anchor at Millport because at least there we've got the swinging room. 
We'll just see. Because also, this way we can avert the great bog roll crisis of 2020, 2021. <laughs> yeah, we're just, uh, we're just needing a few bits of shopping, so that's our decision. But oh, you just we were just enjoying taking it slow, and we had wanted to go to the anchorage, but oh, I think a working depth gauge is just an absolute must if you're going to do that kind of thing. So we headed down the East Cal toward Rothsay. The winds were very light and we left the motor in low revs. At least it's sunny. It's lovely. We, and, we, uh, rain, we rain squall coming up behind us, but nothing worth to worry about. Yeah. I've got my sail up. Okay, fair enough. I'm motor sailing, but I've got my sail up. Yeah, it's given us a knot or two extra. We've only got the engine running at about a thousand revs. I mean, it's very low. For a diesel engine, it's nothing. Yeah, but um, I might be needing your assistance because um, the wind is changing a little bit. All right. Um, in these uh, narrow channels, that's something we noticed it on the way up uh, last year. And it was near this point that we're approaching now. Yeah wind changed quite a lot and it's doing so again. All right, I'll get back on the sheets. So you're experimenting with the seal, are you? Yeah, and I think I'm getting it wrong, Beth. <laughs> I told you that would happen. <laughs> it's completely backed. <laughs> I did warn you. Turn the boat that way and it will back. Right, so we're, oh. we're sorted again. Yeah, I'm trying to get it right because um, we very rarely sail downwind, or in this case, motor sail downwind. But um, because the wind is right behind me, <laughs> I keep on getting my head twirled round. But basically, at the moment, I've got the wind coming from that angle. So I need to steer the boat this way so that um, more of the wind is into the sail and it's just the fact that I was trying to both push it that way and that's why it backed on me so as I say because it's behind me that way I've got to point it the boat that way yes if you've got the wind dead behind you it only has to change course by one or two degrees and the sail flips over yeah um, so don't give it the choice <laughs> no so I'm just just trying to get it right um, because uh, one of the things on the Yacht Master is actually sailing in a narrow channel. So I'm going to class this as my narrow channel, even though, quite frankly, it is quite wide. Just more practice for us salty lasses. It's talk talking for England in the Yacht Master. <laughs> I've got that one down, Batgirl. <laughs> <laughs> 